Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a simple car rim uh, just like this. Now this isn't a real car rim and the measurements aren't really exact but we're just going to walk through some of the pro processes required to create something like this. So we're going to have a look at our drawing and we're going to look at all the measurements that we need. Once we have that we're going to transfer that into Fusion. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to start in the front view and we are going to create our first circle. <clears throat> so I'm just going to pick this plane to work with. Now the distance of my first circle is going to be 381. Now there is an inner circle and then you have another bunch of inner circles at the bottom. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to have, we need 40 mils from the outside to the edge. So we need to subtract 381 minus 40, which will leave us 341. That will give us the side of the inner circle. So that will be the outside of the actual uh, rim. Then we need uh, two circles in the middle, which have a diameter of 185. So the first circle is 100. And then we have another circle, 85. <clears throat> and there we have the base for our car rim. So we need to now extrude this section uh, by 200 mils and that will be the thickness of our actual rim. And then we'll have to put our spokes in as well. The next thing that we have to do is we have to click on the spline tool and we're going to create a small spline, a curve, and then we're going to rotate it around the rest of our shape. So I'm going to click and then I'm just going to click again and now depending on you know how you want the actual spokes to be you can now curve this uh, spline to however you want so once you've made your curve you can press the, um, the tick tool to move forward now you can go into circular pattern and you can click on the object you can click on the center point and now you can see that I can start to rotate it around the rest of my, you know, uh, the rim. So when I press OK, now what you want to be able to do is you want to have all of these sections so that you can actually um, highlight them and extrude them uh, individually. <clears throat> so the next thing that we have to do is we're going to extrude the outside. So I'm just going to uh, click on all of these and I'm just going to press extrude to extrude that by 200. So the distance will be 200. So we have something like that. Now you need to go back into sketches and make sure that you click the little light icon so that you can see uh, everything else. Okay. Now the distance of the of the spokes are going to be less than 200 so it will probably be um, it will be 10 mils from this edge and 10 mils from the back edge so I'm just going to go and highlight all of them every second one and I'm just going to extrude that to 190 so now once we have that we then have to worry about extruding the middle now the outer ring should be the same uh, distance as that which is about 200 so I'm just going to go in there I'm gonna zoom in and I'm going to make sure that I highlight all those sections And I'm going to extrude that 200. <clears throat> so now we have that layer there. So now what we have to do is we're going to extrude the inside as well. So I'm just going to grab all these parts and I'm also going to extrude that. 
Now, these parts need to be a little bit bigger. So we're going to extrude it 210 mils so that it just has a little bit of a, a top at the end of it. So now once that's complete, that's pretty much the base for the car rim. All right, we then have to worry about the back and we're going to extrude that the opposite way um, to just get that 10 mils off at the back, just like that. So it's got a little bit of uh, space in there. We then have to put our logo in there as well. But before we do that, we're going to add a fillet. So we're gonna grab the fillet tool <clears throat> and we're gonna put the fillet on this edge. And the fillet measurements that I have is 15 but you can change it to anything that you like maybe a bigger fillet would probably be better so I'm just gonna go back fillet and maybe make that 20 mil so it's it's all one piece so that that's a bit curved over there now you can also add a fillet for you know these sides and this side as well and also the back but for now, I think, you know, that's that's pretty good. So the, the last thing that we have to do is we have to insert our logo. And to make the logo, um, I've used Illustrator and there's a whole nother video that you can watch to create how to create a logo, but you need to save it as an SVG. Now, once you save it as an SVG, you can actually make it part of the actual, um, the actual design. And so you can extrude things and take things away and and so forth so to to insert an svg you need to go to insert svg you need to find your svg file and now once you put the the file in you then can move it using these tools and you can make it bigger and smaller all right now if there's any um mistakes or anything in your svg file you will notice it here so you have to make sure that your Illustrator file is as perfect as possible so that you can actually use it and start to extrude and do things like that. But once you've put it into the right you know, spot that you want to put it in, so I'll be happy with... You can see that now I can actually go in there and I can highlight things and I can you know, extrude them, I can do what I want with them. So I'm just going to extrude that, maybe negative 10 mils, just so it creates a cut inside of that car wheel rim. And so there's my logo, the three little mountains, okay, and I've added it to my car rim. All right, the final step that you need to do is you just need to add some appearance. So to do that, we can, um, we can change the settings to render and here we can actually change the appearance now if you want to you know change the appearance of certain parts of the shape all you have to do is highlight them and then you can go and you can um, you know you can go and grab some of these settings and then you can change it like that so you know maybe you can change the logo or maybe you can change the outside of that shape and you can you know put different colors and things like that inside of here just so it looks a little bit different so in my original one i had all red in the spokes but here i've changed it and then you can always uh, render it but anyways guys that's how you create a very very simple uh car rim the only other thing is if you're really going to use this as an rc car rim you would probably have to uh, extrude a place for the axle at the back but that's uh, very easy to be done. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.